Well, mic check one two, mic check one two. All right, what up, YouTubers? Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell on the subscribe. All right, so real quick tutorial video on a sample treatment. Um, what? How do you get a sample in the joint? How you loop the joint? How you? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go over a whole bunch. Maybe I'll just go over a few techniques. I can't give you all the sauce. You feel me? Can't give you. I might give you a little extra sauce. I can't give you all the sauce. Sauce costs. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yo, NBC um, Studio 2.2. Um, time to go in on that joint. Um, first thing you want to do. Is get acclimated with the program. Once you get acclimated, you'll know where the sample area is. Am I sampling my voice? Yes, I am. All right, so you can see the little VU meter popping up and down. I might need to turn myself down a little bit, but no, turn down for what? <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't want to be peaking. You don't want to be too hot. All right, so. I'm about to uh, throw a little sample and I'll show you guys a couple techniques to use. A couple, I mean, it's a million things that you can do with a sample, especially with this type of software. But uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Um, let me find the sample first. I, I should have found the sample first. So uh, you guys will be able to hear what I'm listening to, I think, if I got my audio routed right. If not, this will be a trash video. Um, yeah, I gotta reroute my sample audio. That's okay. I'll listen to it and then I'll reroute it where you guys can hear it. Nah. Dropping a needle. Mm. Yeah. What we got here? Yeah, that sounds diesel right there. Let me change my sampling input. So this is important. You guys look at the drop down menu. Boom. I'm gonna go to stereo input for my sound card. And so now I should be able to uh, hear audio. You guys should be able to hear audio as well. Hopefully my mic didn't drop out. Yeah, that's cool right there. All right. I'm going to grab this sample right here. Oh, too slow. <laughs> Bing. Let's grab that. Just you and I. Okay, cool. I'm going to stop that sample. Stop that sample. And then uh da -da 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 Bada bing. Save that. Okay, so now I got my sample in the software, right? I should be able to go into the sample bin. Samples. All samples. There it is. Bada bing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to double click on it. Or up top, you'll see the edit screen. So this is the main screen. The menu, I just click over and highlight the sample. So, what do I do now, now that I have my sample selected? Uh, I'm going to audition it real quick and see what my levels are. It's kind of low. But uh, I'm going to, I'm yeah, I'm going to normalize it first. I'm going to give it some volume. Bada bing. 
All right, cool. And then I'm going to uh, truncate it real quick. So you might say, brother, how do you um, how do you uh, loop this piano? Or how do you chop this sample up? So the first thing I got to do is uh, find the BPM of the sample, right? So I'm going to chop it. And I'm going to show you guys like a really simple technique that I use. It's really accurate. Uh, I'm going to extract just the part that I want. Let's see, I'm going to play from the end. Just you, just you. And then to the end. So yeah, I want this part right here. I'm going to use the transient. So basically, I find my uh, BPM with the transients. I'll take a look at the transients and I can tell exactly when uh, my new loop point will uh, end and start. Play it to the end. Sometimes I put a little extra sauce on it just so I don't chop it off too soon. So I'll just leave that in. All right. Uh, let's uh, extract that what I just uh, took out. and rename it as a new sample do it i like how i kind of put do it instead of uh you know something else do it is uh just so cool you know what i'm saying do it is uh better than enter or i don't know something else um i'm kind of rambling right now let me get back to the sample. I was checking my audio to make sure my audio is coming in good. Okay, I'm going to scroll over to the sample bin. I'm going to highlight the piano that I just... And then I'm going to delete the original sample. You don't have to do that, but... I don't like stragglers or lingerers when I'm working on the track. Okay, I'm going to zoom all the way out to look at the entire wave. That's cool. And I'm going to go back to play to end. Right there where that next piano note starts is where my loop is going to be. So you might say, brother, how do you find the tempo? So my uh, default, where well, I have set in a guy, the BPM is 130. But of course, we know that the sample is not 130. So I'm going to open up an audio track. All right, so I have an audio track here. And I'm going to go to the main menu. And I'm going to just drag this sample onto the audio track, onto audio track one. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, the BPM, which is 130. Visually, I know right here where this transient is, that's the beginning of my new loop. And I know this is four bars. I can make it eight bars, but I know this is four bars. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, adjust my tempo to around about what I think this might be. So I'll count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's about, I guess, 87 BPM maybe 89 I'll put it at 89 when I put the BPM in that I think that it is that transient should line directly up with measure 5 beat 1 so it doesn't measure up that transient does not hit directly on 5 let's scroll over really quick so you can see that the transient is here let me put my cursor over that and zoom in a little more you can see measure 5 1 doesn't have the transient beginning directly ahead so I'm going to type in 88 looks like it's a little closer not quite there yet I'm type in 87 maybe 85 let me type in 85 okay that's too much 
So I'm going to do 87. Bada bing, the transient lines up perfectly. So when I play this, it should loop perfectly. And then I'm going to turn on my metronome. And you can hear the metronome uh, hitting directly on the spot where the, uh, the every beat, the metronome hits on every beat. So now I've tempo matched the sample, like what's the next step? Well, the next step is figuring out what I want to do with this sample. So um, I like to do a lot of warping of samples. Um, I didn't come up on Ableton, but Ableton kind of like spearheaded, you know what I'm saying, uh, vinyl sample warping. And uh, Akai added it to this software, so it's a beautiful thing. Now, what I want to do is take the original tempo. I want to highlight the sample at first because you can't you can't do it. You have a menu up here, a sample menu in the audio. And you can do this in the sample bin as well from the edit screen for the sample. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to loop this sample on the audio track. I mean, there's so many different options. You can put it on a pad, detune it, pitch it up, pitch it down, all reverse it, all this crap. Anyways, I'm going to highlight the sample and then I get a menu up here where I can turn the level up or down. I can reverse the sample. I can do all kinds of crap. But the first thing that I want to do is put the original tempo in, which is 87, which I don't think it's giving me the option to do that right now. <laughs> Let's try it again. 87. No. Okay. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Oh, just deleted the sample. Didn't try to do that. I like the sample. BPM. For some reason, it's not letting me put the BPM in. Maybe if I highlight warp. Okay, yeah. I like warp first, sorry guys, and then uh, put the original BPM in. Now, once you do that, you can manipulate the uh, sample tempo to be whatever you want. So right now it's playing at 87 BPM. I can change, I'm gonna turn that annoying metronome off. I can change the uh, tempo of my project Let's just say I want this to be 130. It'll automatically warp the sample to be the tempo of uh, the project. So you want to look for continuity. You know, you don't want your sample to sound like crap. Um, and so that brings me, that's like a segue to my next point. So, of course, it sounds like crap when you uh, pitch it up to 130. I'm sorry, you uh, warp it up to 130. So, let's just say I want it at 98, um, which should still be pretty clean. Because you always want to have continuity in your sound. You don't want to, let's just say if I wanted to take this and pitch it up 12 semitones. It sounds okay, but it's not great. We want to keep continuity, so you definitely want to keep uh, your pitching uh, in an area that you know sounds cohesive. It's, it's ear candy. It's nice on the ears, right? So I'm warping my loop, and um, I'm pitching it to the tempo that I want to pitch it at, and so. Uh, I'm treating this sample, uh, this, this is like, you know, this is uh, this primo sauce I'm giving y'all. Alright, so, let's just say I like this sample at about uh, plus 3 dB, or maybe 4. Okay, I've detuned the sample uh, a couple semitones up. I'm going to just go into uh, Akai's uh, MIDI area. I don't have any uh, drums set up yet. But let's just say... 
I wanted to throw some drums on this. I'm going to pull open my uh, drums. And uh, I'm going to open up a kit. I like this uh, Dark Fantasy kit. Which is kind of like a... Uh, a rip from uh, not kind of like a rip you know how like you have kids that uh, act like certain producers sound this is kind of like Kanye's dark twisted fantasy album type kit we got tight beats this is a type kit all right so um, just like when you go to machine uh, the machine store where they have the kits in there you got the uh, the havoc type kit you know what I'm saying? You got the headland flow, which is the um, organized noise type kit. That's just uh, how we talk down south. Let me get one of them Kanye type kits. All right, so um, this is the Kanye type kit. Now my Kanye PK mini loaded up. I probably should have um, cameraed it. Is that a phrase, cameraed it? I probably should have put it on the screen for you guys, but whatever. All right, so um, I'm going to just drop a real quick snare on this. Record. Two, three, four. Got my quantize on 16th, so it ain't no mishaps. Kick. See which kick I want to throw on this. say on this audio track I want to throw some type of um, effect I want to throw it back so I'm gonna throw that MPC 60 uh, filter on it cool vintage mode you dig so we're gonna rock with that I didn't mean to turn it off turn it on Alright, and then uh, I'm going to drop the uh, drums back on it. Matter of fact, you know what, let's throw something else on there. Um, I'm going to throw something random. Uh, I'm going to throw some type of compressor on it. Right, right, right. Turn the old school all the way up. Give a little bit more output. Loose release. Really tight attack. That'll work right there. And we can volume it later. Actually, let's volume it now. Let's bring it down some. I could have bought revolume the sample itself, but now that it's on the audio track, 
I can basically, you know, do what it do. Alright, I'm not going to give y'all no more sauce, alright? Just ripped the joint off the record, threw a loop on it, and uh, threw some drums on it. I mean, there's so much other stuff that you can do uh, with a sample and with this program. Um, just decided to give you guys a little sauce. So, um, throw uh, some comments in uh, on the video if you got any questions or whatever. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I'm almost at like 3,100 subscribers, which is really cool because I'm trying to get up to 10K. So, tell your mom I said holla back. All right, it's bro La. It's been another Kai PK Mini Tutorial MPC Studio 2.2. Throw your DAW in the garbage can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 2.2 is dope, man. I, I, it is a producer's freaking DAW. I don't care. No, not not producer. It, it is a beat maker's DAW. It, producers, arrangers, you know, Logic and, and and Pro Tools and you know all of those other DAWs that I sewn on Cubase. Those are great, great for arrangers and composing. Now, if you're a beat maker, like if you're coming from the the MPC hardware, or if you a guy who likes to sample, or whatever. This is the perfect, 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 perfect DAW. Now, mind you, they're still working on some stuff. <laughs> it's not the go-to, go-to yet, but for me, it's the go-to because, you know, I, I got the ear. But there's a couple things, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, a hey, they're getting there, you know what I'm saying? But from a sampling aspect and going from, MIDI triggering samples to audio and bouncing and mixing down and oh my god and even the effects are dope but anyways I'm just kind of fawning over this uh again this bro uh, um <laughs> follow my social media stuff on the right hand of the screen yiddick I'm out of here peace